Hi there, how is going? Today in this video, we will go over a few ways to make Stylize Thunder and Lightning Effect for game. It is a simple version of Thunder Effect you will get, but I will show you my version in the end of this tutorial. If you are new here, my name is Luke and I'm making video tutorial about animation and effect. <coughs> Sorry. Animation and effect on my channel. Please consider to subscribe and now let's dive straight into the content. First way to create lightning effect is very common way and probably you already know. It is particle system and static texture, but we should have more than four different shapes to make it look more natural. So as you can see, I have nine different shapes for lining effect and we will use texture sheet animation module to show it randomly. Light time should be from 0.05 to 0.1 and random rotation from 0 to 360 degrees. We also random size and here on my scene, star size should be random from 0.7 to 1.5. Choose a bright color for it and you might want red over time curve like I did because I don't want particle display on the screen all the time. Sometimes it spams particles, but sometimes it doesn't. Next, we will use light render component to make lighting and electricity effect. This method requires a coding skill. It's easy if you are a programmer, but if you are not, so don't worry, you can download this script on my website for free. And here I will show you how to use it. And we need two points, one material, number of points for light render, and finally is random value. For example, here I'm making electric effect for the right arm. So start point is his shoulder and end point is his wrist. Electric material point count is 20 and random value is 0 0.05 and we are good to go. Do the same thing for other part and we will get this result. Third way to make lining effect is frame by frame animation. For this way we can use after effect to generate lining effect or we can draw frame by frame on Photoshop as I'm doing right now. This animation should have more than 9 frames and here is the result. Next we're gonna using custom shader for particle system. I'm using shader 4 and I will show you the fast and easy dissolve shader for particle system. First we need a texture node and in Photoshop I create a simple texture for testing and threshold here to help me preview dissolve animation before bring it into Unity. Dissolve animation will start from dark value to bright value so keep that in your mind when you paint texture and of course this gradient will be pasted in alpha channel of texture before I save it out as PGA format. Now we need multiply node and a value property to control the cutout of alpha. And because this shader is for particle system, so we need vertex color node to control color and amplify a particle over lifetime. For color of particle, we will multiply RGB color of vertex color node with RGB color of texture node, then plug it in emission. Naming value property is dissolve amount. Finally, is create and file for lining shape we did before. Make sure you check your dissolve animation with vessel before I save it out as PGA. Here is the result of the shader, and you can use this technique for liquid and blood as well. Next, we will continue to another way to make lining and thunder effect is using 3D mesh for particle system. And this way is very simple is that we are going to model lining mesh based on our lining shape we did before. But make sure you change the pivot point to the last vertex before export. Here I made 5 different versions and the cool thing is 
texturing work is easy with this method. Just one simple texture for all meshes. To follow this method, we need mesh render mode. Particle system allows us to import up to four meshes. Last thing to do here is the grid randomness for start size and start rotation. It is what we get so far. There are more few ways to create lining and thunder effect, but I think this method is simple enough for us. Sometimes the symbol is the better. The video won't end here, please keep watching. I want to show you cool animation and something advanced you might be interested in. Please leave your comment below, tell me which method do you like and what kind of effect do you want to see next. I downloaded animation from Misamu and I thought it is good enough to make this video and help me save more time but in the end I still had to do it by myself. Here is animation with and without learning effect. Would you like this energy plus? Sometimes making a decision is so difficult. I remove it and add fresh nail shader.